Hey, Mike with Mike's Bags, and today I am reviewing the Nemesis by Fly Cornhole. This is one of the newest bags by Fly, it was released actually last week, so I wanted to get a set and go ahead and review them for you guys. Let's go ahead and break this bag down. We'll start with the slow side. This is that really popular herringbone carpet that you see at every bag company's coming out with a bag like this right now, for good reason. Wonderful material, it's very controllable, it's very versatile, it's, it's pretty hole friendly, you can do pretty much everything with it. Uh, it plays about a five speed, normal conditions, normal boards. However, I've talked before about how versatile and how you can manipulate the material to, if you rough this up, dirty it up, it'll slow down. You can get it down to like a four speed and play really sticky. You keep it clean, kind of keep the fuzz off it. You can play a little faster than a five, even up to a six speed. So most conditions of fives, I'm gonna call it a five speed on this. Fast side, this is the, this is not a super popular material. I've seen it around. Um, I, I really use it on the Renegade, the fast side of the Renegade. They use this material. It is on, uh, I believe Crazy 8 uses it on the fast side of their 8-legged. Uh, 710 uses it on the fast side of their Route 69. Um, Dragon Bags, I think it was the fast side of the Genome bag. I haven't thrown that bag in a while, but I'm pretty sure this was the material very close to the material used on the Genome. 724, I think, uses it on their Warfare bag. So there, there are a few companies that have used it. It's a, it's a good material. It's very fast. Uh, to me, it's like a nine speed, nine plus. I think I think Fly called it a nine and a half. So I'm, I, I have no argument with that whatsoever. It's it, it plays. Uh, it, it, so to me, it plays about the same speed you think that Pro Sniper fast side, right? That Viper fast side, kind of a nine speed. The difference is, is this much out to me? As it's sliding, it doesn't slow down as quickly as that stuff does. So it just kind of maintains the speed much th throughout the throughout the board. It doesn't really just lose the speed. It doesn't screw up speed off very much, and that's because this material just feels a little bit slicker. And then that helps when you're trying to push. Like if you've got a level two, level three blocker, you don't really have to throw that hard. Just a regular throw with the spats that it's going to hit and just push because that, that, that bag is going to maintain speed up the board and push right in. Really wonderful for push, for doing those long pushes, doing those party collects because of because of how well it holds its speed. So look at about a nine, nine and a half. So look at a five, nine and a half speed bag. Template wise, this is that that medium sized template, kind of that sweet spot where a lot of bags are right now. Probably my favorite template size right now for a lot of bags. So you get that that medium sized template in here. It's it's got it's got some flop to it. Um, you know, I don't know. I, I wouldn't call it crazy floppy, but it's definitely not a full bag. You know, it's kind of that I guess a medium amount of fill in here. So it's that sweet spot right there, just right template, just right amount of fill. The fill in here is mostly a flat fill, but I, I, it might be a mix in here. I, every now and then I find a piece that that just feels different and I can't tell if it's supposed to be a bead or if it's kind of an odd shaped flat filly sometimes the resin just isn't as consistent and uniform uh, when they when they make the resin they, they're not really as concerned about uniformity so you get some odd shape ones every now and then and it may be it's it's mostly that disc that flat disc fill but I, I whatever the fill is it plays great in this bag I love the way it plays I love the way it feels it's got a great hand filter really soft hand feel because it's a it's a it's a medium template medium fill you can really lock this bag down not a flop not a lot of flop to it so it's not going to move around especially if you butterfly grip you really lock the bag down and then you have complete control of the bag of how you want to throw it how you want to you know which angles stuff like that so you can really shape shots with it um it, it's a very hole friendly bag i mean occasionally i would say this material will tend to hang on the hole from time to time but the bag's very collectible, and I'll get into that in a moment here. We'll talk about playability. In fact, let's go ahead and jump into playability on this bag. And and, and this is a bag that is, this material is so popular because it's so versatile right now. It, 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 everybody can throw it because you can play from a dirty style game to a hole for hole game. You can play this material, and, and it does it wonderfully. It's really good. I mean, it, the the downsides to this, I would say, and it's not, not really many, right? The downside, it, it has a little bit of kick to it. Now, although this bag having more of that flat feel, it's a softer landing bag. It doesn't have as much kick as say like the BG Wizard would have that bouncy bag that, that with that bouncy feel with this carpet. It's going to, that Wizard would have a lot more kick to it. This has a little bit of kick to it, not a lot. So if you throw and not a not a perfectly flat bag, it's not going to punish you as much. It, but yet you have enough movement that if you want to cut a bag, you can put a tilt and you can get that cut and that kick to cause it to to, to cut like you want it to and really shape shots with it. So you have that control of it. Uh, the other thing is, and I mentioned a little bit, was was that it will have a tendency to hang on the hole. Like this, to me, especially if you start rough this material up and get it dirty, it starts slowing down and playing that five, four and a half, five speed. It, it does have a tendency to want to hang on the hole a few times here or there. Although this bag is very collectible because it's full enough. You know, it, now I found myself on this bag most of the time. I would throw slow side to collect. You're just clipping a corner, clip a corner blade. You don't have to get crazy. With it. So I can put that blocker where I want on the board, especially get aggressive on my opponent's side. And then when I want to collect, I can just come down clip it take it right in if i if the bag exists further down the board i can go slick side i don't throw that hard this looks like it's going to push and, and ride it up there if i've got multiple bags i can go slick side and come through and collect it uh, i didn't really have an issue with these bags bunching that i recall or, or clogging the hole because they're not they're they're not that full they're not that they're not really a big bag 
that it, I, there might have been a time or two where I was I was going to the side to try to collect the back on the side, and I caught them to bunch. But then I was able to come up my my next back and push through and knock them in. Like they didn't they didn't claw. If, if they bunched, they were collectible. Um, I, I I think I might have had a bag or two that got hung on the back that wasn't as collectible. So if you get a bag right on the back, you got to get a little aggressive, go through airmail drag. It's not going to come in quite as easy. But on the sides, fronts, very collectible. I, I love this bag for playing a dirty style game because of the way it is that 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 it's sticky enough that you can cause your opponent problems to push through and maybe kick their bag off, especially if they're not used to pushing through bags. If they're maybe a faster bag thrower and they're not they're not comfortable or confident with their push bag, it can cause their bags to, to kick off. And then you and you can throw, you know, put the block on their side, throw a cut shot, get around, get around, get around, and then your fourth bag come through. If you want to flip it over, you can go slow side, come through, straight down the middle, collect it, take both bags in, and, and get your points that way. I love playing that style game with this bag. But the other thing is, it's a wonderful bag for just going hole for hole. If you just want to run bags in there, especially the boards are just a touch faster, you can still control this material, but it'll play a little faster. This is wonderful for just running bags. You know, you have it. You don't have to throw crazy hard with it like you would a sticky carpet bag. You can throw a pretty normal throw. It's going to stop the board, go in the hole. And 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 for the most part, like I said, if a bag does stop and hang, you know, your next bag coming through, you don't have to throw hard to throw through it. It's going to push right through and take it right in. So, so very good for playing that hole for hole game. Very good for playing that dirty style game for playing. You can mix it up, which is probably what I would, I tend to do the most with these bags like this is I like to, you know, kind of mix up round round. One round, I'm going hole for hole. Maybe two or three as I go to hole. Or maybe I start playing dirty. Once I get a lead, then I start running bags and make my opponent work to keep up with me to get their points, right? So you can mix, you can mix the game up. You can do a lot with it. You can be very versatile with it. And I love the bag for that reason. I love having bags like this in my backpack because it, depending on how I feel that day, how the boards are playing, I can pull this bag out and I know I can play some solid game with it. It's also great for blind draws because you get to a blind draw. It's again, it's not a bouncy bag. It's not a super slow base, not a super fast bag. So no matter who you, who you draw in a blind draw, they can play this bag because they can play whatever style of game they want to play with it. So I, it, it's a wonderful bag for those type of situations. Uh, I, I, I think it's a bag that most people should have in their arsenal, right? Because it, because it, what you can do with it, some style of bag like this. If I were to compare this to another bag out there, I would say this is very comparable to like a Fallout X or a Sorcerer. Same slow side, very similar fill. It's a different fast side than those two bags, but it plays very, I mean, I mean, the Sorcerer Fallout X have different fast sides as well. So it's three different fast side materials, but it falls right in line with those bags. So if you're a Fallout X or a Sorcerer Thrower, this is a wonderful bag to 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 put in that, or maybe maybe you like those bags. If you don't like the fast side, you want a different fast side. Try out this Nemesis. I think you're going to love it. Um, and if you're throwing it, let me know. I'd love to hear your feedback on what you guys think. But I think this bag is phenomenal. I really love this bag. I, I'm, I'm going to love spending more time playing this bag, throwing this bag. It's just, it's just really fun to throw. So that leads me to availability. Fly has a website, flycornhole.com. I'll put a link description for you guys. You can go there and pick up a set of bags now. They were just released, as I mentioned last week. They sold out pretty quickly. Fly, Fly is pretty popular. When they put bags out, they sell out pretty fast. Uh, so as, as of the quarter of this, they, these were sold out. They weren't in stock. However, if you go follow Fly on their social media accounts, then you can keep an eye on when they, one, they announce their releases or announce the drops, as well as sometimes they'll announce when they're restocking bags. So they'll make it a mention of it so you, you can be aware to go pick up a set. When they are in stock, they were they were 90 bucks on the release, which is a great price for these bags. So kind of right in that middle. It's not, it's they're nowhere near the most expensive bags. They're kind of maybe even middle to, to cheaper side, uh, especially for an ACL stamp bag. I don't know if I mentioned these are ACL stamp for 2023. Uh, these have the comp stamp on them, which as I mentioned before in the videos, the comp pro stamp for all of us watching, it doesn't matter. Unless you're an ACL pro, that, that stamp doesn't matter. As long as it's comp or pro, we can throw it any ACL event for you. Unless you're an ACL pro, then there's some situations where you can't. Anyway, I'll get into that more in the video. Somewhere. But their ACL stand for those who play ACL events, 90 bucks for a set of them. Uh, Flycornhole.com is where you're going to get them. Make sure you follow the social media account. Make sure that you get your hands on a set. However, if you're looking for a set, Fly was nice enough to offer to allow me to give away a set to you. So shout out to Fly. I love when companies do that because I love doing giveaways. You guys love the giveaways. It's a win, win, win for for you guys, for me, for Fly, we all kind of win this. So the giveaway is wonderful. So Fly is going to give away a set of bags to one of you guys. Um, as always, just make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, and then comment Nemesis. Just drop a comment down below Nemesis. I will reply back to your comment the number, and then um, we'll, we'll run this for a week. So we'll run this until July 9th, Sunday, July 9th at 9 p.m. Eastern time. I will cut this off, and then everybody who has... Who has, who has commented Nemesis, I will respond back to your comment with a number. And then sometime following after that, I will do a giveaway. We'll do a race and I'll pick a winning number. And if that matches your number, you'll win a set of these Nemesis bags from Fly. So I thank you guys so much for support and I thank you for watching.